life on the coral reef is about survival. To succeed, each animal must continually adapt and evolve. Other than the top apex predators, most animals are predator and prey. What does it take to become one of the most successful hunters on the reef? Marine animals aim to use the minimal amount of energy to create maximum energy gain. This is known as the optimum foraging theory. The scorpionfish is part of the huge scorpionidae family. Literally hundreds of members range in size, shape and colour. The fish moves to his chosen location. Lowering his metabolism, he stops. The absence of a swim bladder helps him rest effortlessly on the bottom. Changing colour and texture, he mimics his surroundings. Patches of his skin even have the look and feel of algae. Unsuspecting vegetarians come to graze on an invisible fish. The scorpion fish can wait hours for prey to come close. Then, in a perfect ambush, he sucks them into his formidable mouth in a 15 millisecond strike. The leaf fish is a close family member with equally unique camouflage techniques. A strange evolutionary path has led him to mimic the appearance and behavior of an element foreign to his environment. His body has evolved to be laterally compressed. He oscillates, a dead leaf swaying in the current. The stonefish is another successful family member who has evolved to take advantage of sandy patches. Both eyes and mouth have shifted to the top of his head, so he can easily conceal his body with sand. He buries himself invisible. Just eye and mouth peeking out. He's perfectly poised to strike. The renowned lionfish is also in the family, but he's the odd one out. Unlike the bottom dwellers, he has an elaborate swim bladder and doesn't really need camouflage. Instead, he prominently advertises his position and actively hunts by herding fish. With the absence of a swim bladder, swimming is demanding on a scorpion fish's energy. Furthermore, his uneven skin tempers with hydrodynamics. So when he needs to change location, he favours crawling. Using strong pectoral fins, he drags himself around. All these strategies allow this family to achieve maximum energy gain for minimum energy expense. Due to his chosen feeding technique, the scorpion fish is static for long periods, which allows algae and parasites to accumulate on his skin. To get rid of the unwanted pests, he's learned to adapt to the situation and regularly sheds his outer layer of skin. Here, in this rare footage, some tiny hermit crabs are tending to the scorpion fish, nibbling dead skin and parasites, restoring his first-rate camouflage. This is a unique insight, as hermit crabs are not cleaners but scavengers. It's not clear if they know they're picking skin off a live fish, or if they believe they're on the reef, picking decaying organic matter as their diet dictates. The scorpion fish happily allows them to feed. He enjoys the tactile stimulation, and it further validates his camouflage. Who would suspect that underneath these tiny hermit crabs lies a deadly predator? 
feeding and preening are taken care of. But to be a successful hunter, a predator must of course avoid or escape predation. It's easy to assume that venomous spines would be this family's best defense. However, unlike the lionfish, the scorpionfish can't advertise his venom, as it would spoil his premium camouflage. Instead, his number one defense is the ability to blend totally into the environment. If danger is intense, he'll first deploy his pectoral fins to flash a warning of poison, giving the predator a last chance to back off. The stonefish likewise has excellent camouflage and tops it off by burying himself completely. His only access is from the top, which is protected by the most potent, venomous dorsal spines of all. A successful hunter must also reproduce. Like us, marine creatures first signal, then court the opposite sex. This is very difficult when your goal in life is to be invisible. So during courtship, the scorpionfish adapts his poisonous warning colors into a courtship display. Some species stay close to their partner to maximize efficiency when it's time to mate. Yet for others, how they find their mutually camouflaged mate to show their desire is still not clear. The scorpionfish and his enormous family have evolved in various ways to perfect their hunting techniques and capitalize on the optimum foraging theory. With little energy expenditure for maximum gain, they use speed, camouflage and poison to achieve the ultimate defense. This has all led to the Scorpionidae family becoming some of the most successful piscivores on the reef.